the worst kept secret in all of Brooklyn. So badly kept, they give you an email with the address. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Secret Love Show. My name is Carl Salgado. I'll be your host for this evening. Thank you so much. What does that mean? That means I'll be up here doing a couple of yuck yucks, right? Keeping the tempo all, you know, tremendo. You know how we do? Introducing some of the best comics in New York City. You guys are lucky. You guys are lucky to be here. You understand how lucky you are? Do you get it? I don't think you understand. Oh. Oh. So if Young Metro don't trust me. What? If Young Metro don't trust me. If Young Metro don't trust me. I'm going to shoot. You're goddamn right he going to shoot me. Oh, so lucky to be here. Guys, my name is Carl Salgado. I, uh, I won a comedy contest recently that was sponsored by Totino's Pizza Rolls. <laughs> Here's the thing, I forgot that I entered the contest. So I found that, that I won by getting a random tweet from Totino's Pizza Rolls. <laughs> All caps. Just asking me, are you Carlos Delgado, the comedian? <laughs> and my first thought was how fat have I gotten? <laughs> that food is just reaching out to me now. Ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I've worked a lot of jobs. I used to work in an office. I was, uh, I was working in an office uh, as an equal opportunity employer. And the reason I say that is because they would remind me of that every day. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, huh? Like one day my boss walked up to me and she was like, Carlos, I don't know if you know this, but today is diversity celebration day. Could you give a speech about your experiences being a gay and a Mexican in a corporate environment? Would that make you uncomfortable? <laughs> and honestly, it, it did make me a little bit uncomfortable because I am neither of those things. <laughs> but I gave him one hell of a speech though, you know? <laughs> I just walk in there, I'm like, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me here today. You know the only thing I love more than tacos is cock. You know this about me. And I just shimmy for half an hour. Menudo. I'm from, uh, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. How you doing? Uh, yeah, that's right. You from Newark? Jersey, yeah, I made it out of Jersey. Yeah. Growing up in Newark was like growing up in a Bone Thugs and Harmony music video. Miss my Uncle Charles. <laughs> I'm not Mexican, I'm Ecuadorian. You know, it's, you know, it's a nice place, you know, that's what we do. You know, live or die, do or die, ceviche poppy in the house. <laughs> the thing about Latinos is we don't participate in cultural assimilation, we participate in cultural exchange. We give and we take, ladies and gentlemen, right? Like Ecuador, we give you guys ceviche, right? America gave us artisanal ceviche, right? Does that <laughs> I grew up in New Jersey in the 90s. I don't know if you know this about New Jersey in the 90s, but everybody had a license to be openly racist. Did you know that? You know that? So, like, every day in grammar school, I would get called a spick or a wetback. And I feel like there are better ways to take attendance. Does that make sense? Does, no last name? Okay. I went to college. I double majored in English literature and psychology. I was part of the accelerated pre-barista program. You know that? It's very competitive. I wrote my thesis on nature versus nurture as an argument. Fascinated. Fascinated, because that, that's, that's us, that's people, right? Because nature, that's our genetics. That's our physicality, any conditions that we're born with. Our sexuality, all of that, coded, boom, right in us, right? But that's not all of us. We need our nurture, our morals, our view of the world, how we perceive everything, our value system. Both those things combined together make us who we are. Like, did you know that Snooki of the Jersey Shore was actually born in Chile, South America? She's Latina, but she was adopted and raised by a loving plate of linguine. Did you know that? <laughs> That's nature versus nurture, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how else to say it. Yes. yes. <laughs> if 
fuck, I love being back home. I just got back home. I'm here in New York. I'm, I'm happy to be back. Man, but there's something magical about New York City. I don't know if you know this, but if you drink enough, it doesn't matter what part of town you're in or what borough you're in, you will wake up in Coney Island. <laughs> And if you drink enough at Coney Island, you become a Nathan's hot dog. I don't know if you know that. That's just, I've never done it. I've never danced with the devil. You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I just, just so many adventures, you know? So, so many adventures. Like when I was younger though, I fucked up. I got a DUI, but I was partying so hard. I represented myself in court for my own DUI. I was like, I took the LSATs. I got this, I did not got this. <laughs> I did not got this at all. I would have been better defending myself in court if I just pretended to be a Southern lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Like I would just put on a white suit, I walk in there like, yo, owner, for the sake of argument, what is alcohol? <laughs> Still guilty, I understand your owner. Touche, toupee, woo. How you doing? I'm doing swell. I'm killing it right now. <laughs> Personally speaking, in my life. You know what I'm saying? Just changed the brakes on my car. What? 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 I was ready to die. I was like, one day the Lord took my brakes away, but I'm gonna give my heart to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Are you here with anybody? Is this your, is this your boo crush? No. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Are you, are you a single, a single woman? Not. You're not. Okay. No, that's all I got for you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think anybody should be worried about being single. At all. I have a theory. I'll tell you why. <laughs> Thank you, plant in the audience. I paid five dollars. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know comedy is nothing but timing and bribes. We all know this. Are you single? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. Every, you're, everybody's pretty much single? Is that what you said? Uh, no. Nah. Uh, what kind of gross shit are you? What's the... Everybody's single when I'm around. Okay, I see you. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm not gonna hit on your swag. All right, I'll do that. I don't know, I just don't feel like people should be worried about being single. You'll meet somebody. You will. It's genetic, right? Like you have parents, right? Of course you do. <laughs> like one day, your parents, before, they, before you were born, before they even met, they woke up one day, looked in the mirror, this is like in the 70s, you know, they had their afros and shit. They're like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fuck somebody. <laughs> And they both left the house, and they disco ducked down the street, right? And then they saw each other, and they both were like, yeah, I'd fuck you. And then they met, and then they gave birth to you one day. Your dad has parents, who one day back in the 50s, right? Got up when they're like, 23 screw, I gotta have a baby. And then your dad got up, he's like, I gotta support the war effort and have another soldier. And he's just walking out the house. And your mom's like, oh, if only somebody could take care of me. And, so, and then they walked out and then they met at a ring cotillion, right? And your dad and your grandfather was like, I like the poodle skirt on you. And mom was just like, uh. and then they got together and gave birth to your dad. Your mom has parents, you know? I assume Vikings, you know? Like your mom's father, you know, Hans, he was out at the fjords, you know? Just trying to, trying to get those loot fisk. It was, a, it was a cold winter, you know, and the crops failed, as we all know, right? They were pillaged. There was nothing to eat, and then Franz was out in the fjord, just getting those loot fisk, just catching those motherfuckers, right? He wasn't a warrior, though. He was a part of the merchant class. He was a journeyman, you know what I'm saying? He had a lot to offer. And one day, your grandmother, right, she came back from war, a shielder, that was her name, right? She was a shield maiden, right? You know, she was, a, she was like a Valkyrie, and she's just like, Franz, I choose you, I will, you will be my, mm. and then they got together and gave birth to your mom. 
who met your dad and then gave birth to you, what I'm trying to tell you is that you come from a long line of highly fuckable people. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, you have raw dogging in your genes. <laughs> and I don't want to take this away from you, but ladies and gentlemen, every single person in this here won genetically. You won, you're here. Because if anybody in your lineage was unfuckable, you wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> so if you're single, just let nature take its course. You gonna find somebody. You're welcome. Thank you. We're gonna have an amazing fucking show tonight. I fucking guarantee it.